Hi friends, it's me, it's Shayla and this is Shay's Crochet and I have another unboxing for you. But I'm going to be honest, I am terrified about opening this one. I am really apprehensive and nervous right now. <laughs> so this is actually another Abonnese box and I loved my first one so much. Like it was, I had Rowan in mine. I had Rowan and it was all Baroque and it was all like nice yarns. But lately I've been seeing a lot of unboxings and the yarn in it has not been great. So I am very nervous about what is in my ones right now. So I know there are mystery bags in here. I don't know exactly what else is in here because I gave some money to a friend and was just like, buy me yarns from Aberdeen's Wool Company. So, so I don't actually know what is in here. But we can find out together. So I can't hold your hand so I can be brave. I'm going to have to just do this and hope that I have something in here that I like. Because I loved my, that's the problem though. My first unboxing, which if you haven't seen, you should definitely go and check out. My first unboxing was, the mystery bags from Evidence were amazing. So, fingers crossed we've got something else really exciting in here today as well. So, let's get to it. Here's my box. It's not docs myself. And we'll crack it open. Already my steak. Oh, oh. I ripped it. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. I'm still getting used to this microphone. I'm hoping it's actually working right now. Because otherwise I'm going to be pretty annoyed. And <laughs> I keep forgetting it's there and like knocking it and banging it and putting things on top of it. And, you know, we'll see. Ooh, it's a different color. I'm not used to different colors. All of mine last time. Okay, there's four mystery bags that I can see. They're not very full. They seem a lot. They seem smaller than last time. I have three white ones and one red one. Oh, there's some tangled pots first. Let's do our tangled pots, and then we'll get on to these mystery eggs. So I've got one, two, three. Oh, there's two tangled pots. One tangled pot. Two tangled pot. Another mystery bag and a bag of minis. So let's have a look at those all in a second. Pop those all somewhere out of the way. So Tangled Poets is Aberdeen. Oh, don't fall over. It's okay. So Tangled Poets is Aberdeen Wool Company's um, hand dyed, their line of hand dyed yarns that they produce themselves. So I have two here. Ooh. So this is, is this just a neon? Because I know they have the neon ones and then they also have ones that are based on songs, which I am pretty like interested in, but I don't think this is one. Because the, the dyer at Evidence Will Company has, I forget the word, I want to say like synesthesia? Sense yeah. When they perceive senses and like through other senses, so like when they hear sound, they see visual. So, um, colors and things like that as well so she translates like she listen to songs and translates the colors she sees when she listens to the song and puts it in, as her inspiration for a die which is so cool but I, I don't think this is this is but you know just fyi that is really cool <laughs> okay so tangled poets 80 20 superwash merino mylon this is hand dyed fingering weight and it's three uh, like two and a half to three and a half millimeter hooks and needles <sighs> it doesn't i can't actually see the color on here yeah it doesn't have a color on here let's crack it open it just says a neon brown and uh black and orange by the looks of it but it's mostly black we've got this one little patch of orange in here little burst of color I think my friend bought this for himself because he likes orange he might be hinting at something <laughs> it's cool that one back up so that is cool fingering weight It'll take a very long time to make anything with that it looks so good when you actually finish projects and then this one was one that I actually had been had been actually looking at this one Let's put it on there, okay. 
what? Still looks like a there we go. <laughs> Tangled Poets. So this is actually their reverse neon, which I have had my eye on. I've loved all the colours on this one. So again, this is the same. It's uh, 8020 Superwash Merino. It's a uh, fingering weight, 450 yards. Let's undo this one. So it has that real tie dyed effect on this one, which I actually really like. It has all the colours and then it has that black mottled through it. I love it, this purple. This is a purple here. It's so beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to make with it. Have a look at all these colours because they're all so good. Oh, that red is real, that red is real nice. I like that. So, yeah, that's my hand dyes. I do like this one. This one is pretty. Okay, I'll just twist that back up before I drop it on the floor and it just snells up and becomes rubbish. Yeah. Oh, no, I did it. <laughs> I dropped it. <laughs> I dropped it before I got it all hanged up. There we go. That's a, you know. There you go. Beautiful. And then I I didn't know I was getting the, the um, minis. Like micro hanks, I think, because they're, they're smaller than mini hanks. And um, so Aberdeen's is known for, uh, they have pickle jars. <laughs> and they fill them with these little tiny pickles. This is a good one for the pickle, pickle colour. <laughs> Look how tiny that is. So this is all the same. This is Tangled Poets as well. So they do sell these in jars, which I think is 60, and there's a pattern that goes with it. Or you can just buy buy the little hanks by themselves. So if you wanted to refill up a pickle jar, or if you just wanted to have a whole heap of little tiny mini beautiful colours that you wanted to play around with. Let's have a look at some of these. Like, I'll just show you all the colours I got. You can fast forward ahead if you want to see them in stream packs. This one here is beautiful. It's like candy. And this one here is like all of my colours all together. Like that mermaidy blue, green, and purples. I like purple's my favourite colour, but when I keep, you get these three colours together, mwah, delicious. Look at that little bright thing there. I'm sure you're getting a little bored of all these down. I don't know how many was in here. I didn't actually read the label. So these are all the same as well. So the fingering weights and uh, that doesn't have it here. And um, that would be the 80-20 as well. Oh, this one's nice. You see all the colours. So I think this was a 25. Nine, 12, 15, 18, 20. yeah, 25. So 25 beautiful, tiny, whiny things. So I think these were, oh, I can't, I can't even, I'll, I'll put up their specs at the moment because I can't even think about how much they weigh at the moment. That's completely gone off my head. Maybe it says it on my piece of paper. Six grams each. So that each each of those skeins is only six grams. That's so tiny. But uh, those would be really cool for like a real like patchwork piece or like, you know, a real scrappy kind of project where it just doesn't matter what colours they are, you just put them together because they're such beautiful colours. <sighs> remember to breathe when you're talking, Shaver. Thank you. Hey, so before we open these up, remember to hit subscribe. Did you guys know that over 90% of my viewers are unsubscribed viewers? So you guys, if you are into yarn unboxings, Hit that subscribe button so you can come back and watch next time. All right. Remember to do that, okay? <laughs> so, and those um, minis were also 24 yards. I don't remember if I said that. All right. Well, I'm so scared. What if these bags are not good? Ooh! All right. So, these come with patterns and yarns. So, I will show you the patterns first. 
So we've got a Japanese knot project bag. More photos here. Market day shawlette. And a cozy headband. All right, let's see what we got. Premier Bamboo Joy in the color lilac. It's a light three, 50% bamboo, 50% acrylic, 300 meters, 328 yards, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. Ooh, what are you? This stuff does feel very soft, yes. But I saw everyone else getting it. Like everyone was getting this, and I was just like, what is this? So I've got three, and that feels really gross. So I've only got five yarns in here. So this one is satin. It is actually very incredibly soft. Satin color 5163, made in Italy. What else you got? 70% nylon, 30% viscose, 77 yards, 50 grams. I'm never going to use this, I'll be really honest. <laughs> Told you I was scared. All right, and then something in here is wool. I can feel it. This is the last one. This is very thick and, like, very scratchy. It feels, like, not good yet. Like, like it feels like wool, like, really rough and scratchy. So this is KFI Collection Indulgent Organic 100% Organic Merino Wool Blend Socks. 75% um, organic wool, 25% polyamide. It's a number one super fine. It's colors. It's color 107. Mond Mondovino. Made in Turkey. Oh, yeah, that is so scratchy. I can't even imagine working with it. And it smells like a sheep farm. <laughs> right, so that's what I got in the first bag. One sock yarn. Three of these. This is a very, very soft, but this is now not, not for me. Three of those. And one bamboo joy. All right. One. Be back in the box. So it, it, my friends bought me three crochet bags. So that was a crochet bag and one knit. So that red one is going to be the knit bag. All right, let's crack this one open. Oh, what is the hang? What have we got? Uh, oh, that is soft. So this is Barocco Pima, Pima 100. So it's 100% Pima cotton. Um, machine wash cold water, lay flat to dry. It's just color. 8426, it's like a peachy kind of color. And it's got like a, can you see it? It's kind of a bit headed looking. It is actually kind of soft, like it's not, it's kind of weird. It's, it's like really firm. But there's also like the smoothness about it as well. <laughs> so it's not like a really fir firm cotton, like, like, a, like a sugar and cream sort of cotton. It's, it's like, which is about rough, like it's firm, but like it's rough. This is like, it's got structure to it, but also it's really soft. <laughs> so I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> Let's check out what the patterns are. <clears throat> All right, so we have a grocery bag, a market bag sort of thing. We have... A neck warmer, which is actually really a cool, cool. I love that design. I'm gonna. I think I might actually make this one. I like that. That is funky. And then we have satisfaction socks. All right. So so far we've had the pima cotton. We've got another. 
sock, the exact same specs as before, 75% organic wool, 25% polyamide, super fine, number one, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 459 yards, 420 meters. So this one's called Monteverde, it's more like muted blues and greens kind of, very masculine. This one's actually less, less scratchy than the other one, which is always nice. All right, this is 100 grams. Wendy with wool, super chunky. Shade 5203. It is from the UK. So it recommends a 10 millimeter needle size, 20% wool, 80% acrylic. It's a nice kind of like cool, cool minty kind of blue. I don't know, I'm like, what color, what, what would you say? Like a sea green maybe? I don't know. What color do you call this? What do you name this color? Because I don't know. Oh, and we've got two of those, which is handy. At least you can make a decent, make something with it. Does it actually have the meterage here? Hmm. Hold on a second, my friends. So it's, it would be like a, a five weight. And it says it's 100 grams, but I can't actually see the yardage or meterage. On, oh, there it is. 80 meters, 87 yards. Boom. Two of those. Yeah. All right. So that's two bags. And so far, they are not as good as they were last time I got one. This is that. All right. This one seems very little. We have more of that set in there. Oh, this is what I was hoping for. I don't think I already got this color last time, though. So, this is um, Broco Vintage DK. I got quite a few of these in my first lot. Um, this is a nice, nice blue. I like this. <sighs> One day I'll have enough of just not even the same color, just this yarn to, to make something. So, it recommends a four millimeter hook. It's 52% acrylic, 40% wool, 8% nylon. It's a three weight. It's very nice, very soft. And again, three of those. And again, the KFI Organic Merino Wool Sock Wool. Okay. So, not very impressed, I'll be honest. And this is all exactly the same patterns as that first bag. <coughs> now, let's see if they've given the misses something better. Like, this, this is still cool. It's still worth the money you pay for it. But, like, so you pay, these bags are... <laughs> Twenty twenty five dollars Canadian, I think that works out to be about twenty dollars US, and you definitely get your money worth. And then, like, I don't know how much this is worth. But in my first bag, I was getting hundred dollars, like hundreds, hundred of dollars, <laughs> over a hundred dollars worth of product in my bags. And my first time I got them, and I know that this is not. So, oh, 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 sorry, microphone. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'll open up this knit bag and see what Oh, this bag is sturdy. This one is a lot harder to rip open. <laughs> and it got red on me. Ew, what are you? So it's more, this is like a boucle yarn. It's made in Italy. Siam. It's called Siam, but it's made in Italy. It is 35% nylon, 35 acrylic, 30 wool, 50 yards, color six. So it's like a blue and beigey kind of color. Got three of those. Pima cotton, and this is like a nice fuchsia kind of color. It's very nice. I like this. And then, of course, of course, 
another sock yarn. <laughs> so that is what we got. Okay. I'll show you the patterns. I'm not a knitter. I don't know how to read them. I don't know how to knit. I will not be making these knit patterns because solely because I don't know how. <laughs> so they have a very straightforward cowl that you can make. They also have a market bag that you can make. And this one's very cute. Close to You by Justina Lokalska, which is very pretty. So, yes, those are my Aberdeen's mystery bags for that I bought a while ago. It was when they were having their anniversary sales and stuff like that. Um, so I did get those 25% off. So they were even cheaper than um, they retail for. But the quality is very different than it was when I last bought them, which was only a few months ago. So who knows? <laughs> well, we'll have to give them another try sometime. Not straight away. I'll give them a chance to circulate through what they've got packaged up in, in their storehouse, storehouse, warehouse, storeroom. And we will have to give, I will give them another chance to see if, which one was a fluke. Because I know that they have, I, they have had a lot of influx of orders, which could be affecting the quality at the moment, or it could be a permanent shift. So we will have to wait and see what happens with these bags in the future. I am less pleased than I was last time. But you know what? You don't buy mystery bags for a specific purpose. You buy them for the fun of opening them. You don't buy them because you're hoping to get something in particular. You buy them because it's fun. It's like getting a present that you don't know what's inside of. You know, it's like getting an actual present and getting to open it and seeing what's inside it. So this is cool. There was some cool yarn in there. I'm going to have to find a plan for all the rest of it because a lot of that I won't be using. I think I might be keeping the peanut cotton. I'll be keeping the broco and that might be it. And whether I need to sell off the rest or if I just gift it off, I'm not sure. Do need to do something a little bit. <laughs> so thank you for joining me today. It wasn't as upbeat as normal, but that's the way it works and I knew this is what I was getting in because I'll be honest I knew this is what I was getting in these bags that's why I was afraid to open them <laughs> but it's cool I love this color this color is beautiful I should need a stack of this so I can make something so yeah thanks for joining me as I went through the ups and downs of that opening and I'll see you next time love you all and I'll see you when I get around to making another video, remember, hit subscribe.